Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing this morning? So this morning, we're going to start off with a poem, a favorite poem of mine that I uh, read, try to read every morning, and it's called Don't Quit. Don't quit when things go wrong as they sometimes will, when the road you're treading seems all uphill, when the funds are low, when the depths are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest, if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with this twist and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems too faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup, and he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt, and you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. And on a Saturday morning, I know some of you have started your New Year's off uh, kind of slow. You may have started your New Year's off Maybe on a bad foot, but just to let you know that you are responsible for your own happiness and you can do anything that you put your mind to. Good morning. Thank you, universe, for waking me up. Thank you, universe, for giving me everything that I'm uh, fortunate to have. Even though that I may not be in the spot that I want to be in, I know there's uh, something to measure, which means that there's progression uh, that I can work on to be better than I was yesterday. Thank you for the people around me. Thank you for everything that I have. Thank you for everything that I've blessed, I'm have blessed. i blessed with. And thank you um, for even the bad things that has happened because I know that makes me appreciate the good things. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, ancestors, for uh, just everything that you have blessed me with and everything that I can that can be received. In the universe name, I'm in Ra. Um, so... New Year's has passed, and it's a new year. And I know, uh, you know, a lot of people have uh, been talking about uh, New Year's resolutions and what they wanted to want, you know, what they want to accomplish uh, coming up in the next year or so. Um, and one of the things that I want to do is not only challenge myself, but also challenge you to be better than you was last year, to and be consistent at that. I believe that a lot of us start with things that, you know, we kind of get into this uh, this mode of, oh, it's New Year, I'm going to change my diet, I'm going to change, um, I'm going to change the way I look at things, I'm going to change my finances, um, but I think you got to start more internally, you got to be consistent every day, and the thing about change is that sometimes change is hard, change is not as easy as we think it is, and sometimes I feel like, you know, we give on, a, up on we give up on ourselves way too easily. We give up on ourselves way too hard. Uh, and we turn hard on ourselves and no other we have. Sometimes we don't have a plan and sometimes we're not consistent. But you deserve that. You deserve to um, retrieve happiness. You deserve, you need to understand that good things are supposed to happen to you. Good things are supposed to um come your way and you deserve great things um, there's a story that Les Brown tells of two guys who lost their jobs who um, one of them he pretty much lost everything and the other guy went through the same exact thing lost everything one of the guys though decided that he was not going to give up regardless of how many times Murphy's Law handed him a pink slip or handed him a bad note he was not going to give up and he went to the job and he said he went to the job that he liked and they couldn't pay him anything. But he was so driven to the point that he volunteered for two years uh, to keep himself busy. And out of nowhere, um, he, uh, when that position became moment that he wanted, uh, his supervisor, the supervisor, one of the supervisors came in and unexpectedly said, hey, I know the right person for the job. He's been volunteering for two years. 
and now he has a paid position. The other guy, on the other hand, he continued to stay around his negative friends, just stayed at home watching TV, put negative things in his mind, and he had given up on life. And so one day, um, he, gave, he became very toxic with his life. And one day, he drove his wife to work, took the kids to school, parked the car in the garage, uh, let the garage door down, and left the car on, and uh, committed suicide. And this is actually a true story out of Chicago. Uh, but the difference of the two mindsets is, is that you just cannot give up. Sometimes the the you're at 50% of the battle, you've won 50% of the battle, if you just show up every single day, knowing that uh, what is temporary is not everlasting. Um, and for identification purposes, you're with B-Wise on uh, put some gratitude in it with your man B-Wise on this beautiful Saturday morning. Ra is out, the sun is out, and everything look, looks great to be able to manifest in your mind. And what, you, what do you want to manifest? What do you want to get better at? What do you want to do to become a better person? Just not... Um, in the physical, but also in the spiritual, and emotionally. What do you want to do financially? Um, what you want to be better at? And then I just challenge you and also talking to myself to be consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this post because um, I know somebody needs this message. On this Saturday morning, though, two days after New Year's or three days, however many days is after New Year's, make sure... You incorporate. Make sure you take your goals of what you want to do. You post them somewhere you can see them or you memorize them and you commit to every morning. One thing that I commit to every morning is reading something positive. And it's that poem, Don't Quit. And it's very simple. It's very simple. 50% of the battle is winning the war of the mind and pushing yourself to the next level, being better. And let me tell you something is that you are supposed to live your life of how you see it and what you want to do and what makes you happy. Regardless of what somebody else thinks or what somebody else wants you to do, you are responsible for your own happiness. So therefore, when you take control of your life, when you look at your life um, at a broad view when you say, what's making me happy, what's not making me happy, who do I need to cut ties from, you have control. I don't believe that nobody else is responsible for your happiness. Only you are responsible for your happiness. Nobody else can take away your joy. You are you are a protector. And I wanted to make an instance, uh, a point on, like you have to be a fighter. You have to be a fighter because you have to be able to fight for everything that you want and what you and you have to be willing to understand that you're worth what you're fighting for. You're worth that uh, because you deserve. Uh, you get in life what you deserve, what you are, not what you deserve. So if you're a person that isn't a fighter, become a fighter because that's what you have to do um, to get really get what you want. You have to work hard. You have to be able to put your mind to it. And the people, surprisingly, that you think that are going to support you are not going to support you. Your friends, your family, people pretty much that say they care about you are the ones that are not going to support you. And there's there is a true statement that says that most people who don't even – um, know you by name, will maybe see your product or get a glimpse of who you are online, maybe across the world, and will become a better supporter than um, your spouse or your mother or your father or your brother or somebody that says they care about you. Um, they will be, they will, they will become a bigger fan. But you have to never be content, never give up, never be willing to settle for less. I know I went a, a little bit over, but with you with your man, Be Wise, Yoga Thug is still out. Uh, you can go to imbwise.biz. We'll continue to build. Um, I also put a book list of books that I'm reading so you can continue to improve yourself, improve your goals, improve what you want to become in your life. Um, and again, it's just showing up every single day. Make sure you go download I, uh, um Yoga Thug Value 1 at imbwise.biz. Make sure you subscribe to this uh, this YouTube video. Make sure you share it and make sure you turn on your ringer. This is Gratitude Episode 5, I believe. And uh, wish you all a great and productive new year. Let's get it in. Let's get her done.
peace.